After defeating the Devil Raphael in the House of Hope, it's time to battle the Vampire Master Casador. Asterion will finally be able to confront his tormentor, and I will be there to aid him. Karlak will join us. She has chosen to use just her hands for this quest, and Will too has changed up his approach. He truly has become the Blade of Frontiers. Finally, we get to rest up for a new adventure. You sleep, but the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hells away from me! Asterion, did you pay for escorts again? No? Peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The Master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. Do you think so? How did you find us? Master Kazador has known where Astarian was this entire time. He knew he would return. The right. The Master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the Master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. The right of profane ascension will be mine. And he won't see a scrap of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the Ascendant, and then I am going to kill him! This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge, and you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual, but if any of the bearers of the scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the rite himself. He needs them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. It's not really my affair, is it? But I don't want him to become some ascended vampire. That isn't for me to do, no. We can't permit that. Asterion has had an unfortunate fate, but Edrahil wouldn't allow him to grow in power like that. That type of power could change anyone. Have you no heart, Asterion? You're asking them to die for you in this ritual. A DC of 15. I've got my very high charisma, which is great. Let's try that out. I made it. Right at 15. I'm doing what I have to. I can't be what you want to see in me die in the ritual whatsoever are you speaking of we are going to cheat on death you're all slaughter lambs Casador needs your souls the master doesn't need to lie to us he controls us fully why go through the trouble of giving us hope because it's more cruel shit we're doomed all right what do you need from us We'll help you. He knows. The bonds hold. He owns us. We have no choice. We must obey. Get out of here, Astorian. Before. Anytime that we go to bed, we're always woken up by someone trying to kill us. And a lot of us are in our underwear. I don't know what Will is wearing. I'm not going to question it for now. Edrahil, what he's going to do, he's going to jump by a few of these vampires. We've got four total. They're all level 12. And they're all lined up on a red carpet like they're trying to form a conga line. We're going to use Cleave to hit all three. For every critical hit, we'll be able to use a Divine Smite. Let's begin. There it is. Divine Smite level 3 on target 1. Now target 2. Time to strike again. A miss, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. For the Asterion, you're going to turn off your sharpshooter passive. We don't need a minus five to our attack rolls. They're probably going to be very hard to hit. We'll go after the smaller vampire first. Sneak attack. Oh, he's gone for sure. Not destroyed, but gone. All right, let's go after Violet. 
she's nearly gone too. Another Dread Ambusher. We're gonna change it up. Aurelia, your turn. 23 damage. Action Surge. We've got a few points in Fighter. And we'll keep on blasting. Aurelia is gone. One more attack. Take that, Violet. Now we're done. Only two vampires left. Here comes one half-naked vampire attacking Asterion. Thankfully, they don't sparkle. That's good. Violet? She's trying to bite Edrahill. Not that she could. His muscles are probably too powerful. She would have to lick the blood off of him. I've turned Karlak into a monk and a barbarian. I would like to imagine she keeps her cool until she's no longer cool. Then she keeps on punching anyway. Let's keep on going after our target. Look at how much damage she's able to deal. We'll topple him for fun. He would like that. And he's gone too already. That was awesome. Will, he's a College of the Swords bard, but also a warlock. Because I want him to be able to use his more thematic gear. And we'll go over his abilities as he's able to use them in combat. For now, we don't need to use anything truly fancy, but we could try a mobile flourish. There. I'm going to use up one of my bardic inspirations. I could push him back, then teleport right by them. If I wanted to. Withering cut. I used up my reaction for a bit more damage. And we're going to teleport for fun. Hi there. That's really cool. And because we're only using our blade we got from Mazora, I'm able to use Dueler's Enthusiasm. So we'll keep on cutting away, slashing, and also stabbing. Like that. Another attack. What a mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. It was wonderful. Had we killed them, Kazador wouldn't be able to complete the rite. He wouldn't throw away centuries of planning on a scrap like this. They were pulled back, just in time. He will be furious! <laughs> and he'll be even more furious when I get to that crypt and stop him. For what it's worth, thank you. No matter what happens down there, you helped me stand up against him. Thankfully, where we need to go isn't too far away. We're right by the lower city central wall. We only need to go up, follow the wall. Then we should be a bit closer to where we need to be. That was a fun little trip. Oh, the fists are guarding. That's interesting. I know that they're guards, but for him to... I can sneak in here. The security shouldn't be too tight. A few charmed innocents, maybe. You get to sneak in, but what about us? No, I'm gonna say hi, I'm very friendly. I'll be nice, probably. This is the palace of Kazador Zar. Entry is forbidden. Leave now, citizen. The guard's words are clear, but spoken without thought or intent. Behind her eyes, you see nothing. She must be one of the charmed thralls Astarian mentioned. What if she's not charmed and she's only an idiot? I'm going to use intimidation. Another word from you, and you'll fly out of this tower. A DC of only 15 to beat. I'm not going to add bardic inspiration from Will. I want him to save it for combat. But friends, that's okay. A 20. She pauses for a moment, but keeps her mouth shut. It seems you're free to enter. I'm very good at diplomacy. Giant rats everywhere. Huh. I don't have my potion of animal speaking. I think I've got one in my inventory. Should use it later, but for now, we'll move on. No guards up here. Yeah, for a vampire home, it's pretty easy to get into. There's a key. That's all that I need. And we get to press on. There's bound to be some manner of dungeon. Any vampire worth their salt is going to have a dungeon. For things they like to do. Which includes... Well, I don't want to think about it. Alright. Well, that's suspiciously welcoming. We didn't need a key? Yeah, that's pretty weird. Yeah, that is a suitable vampire palace for sure. Victoria's List, but not a secret? Okay. There are 17 paintings, but sometimes some of them are the same painting. 
except that later sometimes they're different again. There are 17 candelabra, sometimes I'll light them but the candles don't burn down. There are 17 chairs which is almost always too many. Father says that if I go into the ballroom, I will be bitten 17 times by 17 rats. Evidently that is a very significant number, to what ends, I have no idea. Hello there, Wilhelm. Bless us, Master. A another guest for the Master's celebration. I'm afraid you're too late, you'll have to- Master Astarian? What are you doing here? Why aren't you downstairs? Well, obviously I'm on my way down now. So if you could just point us in the right direction. But you're too late. The, the, the doors have been sealed. The ritual is about to begin. All right. Take my advice. Run. Get out of here while you still can. Uh, abandon the master. At his moment of triumph. What is wrong with you? Do you wish to spite him again? I do not have any more time to waste. There is too much to do. Too much to prepare. Oh, it can't be a normal door. It's got to be a sinister door. Got an arcane lock. I don't have Gal here to try to open that up. We probably need some manner of key. Let's poke around. The door is covered in intricate text, but you can't see anywhere a key might fit. Only a small round hollow engraved with a family crest. Well, if it was a large round hollow, we could take off our pants and try that key, but it's a small one, so that won't work out. Two intelligence rolls. That doesn't often come up. Okay, I'll have to put on my thinking cap. Then we could try it out. Oh, did I put it away? I did. I don't have it here for once. I usually have it, but that's all right. We don't need to think, only smash. The Chamberlain Suite. It's got to be down here. These boots have seen a everything. door that has a lock. No, I've got a key. <laughs> that one worked out. A wicker chest. Few odd items. We've got what else around us? Nothing really of note. Perception failed. Hmm. What's that? Wait, that worked out. To Faye's diary. I know enough about what the master has in mind with his ritual that I refuse to be the stand-in for that missing Brad Asterian. And he's got a potion he drank that should be convincing that he's dead. Ah. Did it work, or was it a ruse? Oh, hi there. I found him. He's very much dead. Let me drop him real quick. Could I talk to him? I've got a scroll for it. Oh, he's too damaged. So he's been dead for a while. All right, we'll move on. Here's another room. I do see where there might be a false wall. You can often tell by the mini map. It'll look a little bit more distorted. An elegant robe. Maybe I should put that on. That would look beautiful. Mahogany. Ah, yes. I'll take all of that. That's all mine now. And what do we have in here? We've got a ballroom door note. The Kazakoran Dictionary we use to train new servants on how to operate the ballroom door has gone missing and you need a ring too. Alright. Which means I've got to find Gade. I'll do that, and I'll take your gold. Let's poke around in here real quick. So we need a key. We need a lot of stuff. Empty potion bottle. That didn't work out. Well, actually, I don't need your key. Let's see. Despite all your promises that when we went to the afterlife, we'd go together, you went without me. Or did you? I found your body and the empty bottle. She took a potion too. It didn't work out. Whatever killed this werewolf burned it up from the inside. Its throat and innards are more liquid than solid. Tragic. All right, so we need to go downstairs. We know that there's a lower level. We'll check that out. And we've got to find that one individual. We need a dictionary. We need a ring and who knows what else. The see his true form. Ooh. I thought that was a Sterian, but it was not. I wouldn't touch that door. I can feel the death magic from here. Oh, can you? Well, I'm gonna have to open it up, but... Oh, hello! Us, Who are Master. you? May we be worthy. The woman's eyes are alert, verging on manic as she bustles about. Everything's gotta be right for the Master! Everything's gotta be perfect! 
I would say you're gonna be okay, but I'm not sure. Let's open up that door behind us. I've got the technology. I'm not gonna touch it, not directly. Perfect. Oh, that little girl, Victoria. She's dead. She's got a sapping curse on her. I've got a solution. Remove curse. I feel so weak. There's necrotic magic at work here. Well, I've got it. It's gone now. Let's check out that note. Poor kid. Victoria, remember to read that ancient language book. You'll need to know some of the vocabulary to be able to move freely within the palace. That's good to know. All right, before I break down the chest, are there any keys in here? Asterion, you should know. Yeah, all of you, get in here. Ah, the bedrooms. Never once slept in. This is where I took our guests. I'd entertain them here until Casador appeared and took them away. No one ever died here, though. Something strange happened to that girl. No kidding. I did find a dictionary. That's good. So we have what we need, I would imagine. Now we're going to break open that chest. Or actually, to play it safe, Asterion, you'll open it up. That isn't why you're here, but it's what you do. A DC of 15. A 14. Oh, look at that. We didn't make it today. That's all right. I've got more tools. I've got a lot of tools. 19. All right, what do we have? We've got toxin, an elixir of sea invisibility, and so on. A helmet of grit. When the wearer has 50 hit points or less, they have an additional bonus action. Oh, that could be interesting. I probably won't use it, but I could see where I could use it. I could give it to Asterion. He would be able to shoot so many times, especially if he's not hit. One of Cazador's cheapest tricks. An illusionary wall. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Behind it is the Kent. A fetid little cell he'd throw us into when displeased. You're probably in there a lot, I would imagine. I smell a trap. A trap? Oh. Hey, you're right there. Maybe we should attack him right away. But <laughs> I'll be polite. Hi. I know you're there, Golly. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. For days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. But you're home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? <laughs> a new friend for Godi. Godi, okay. I had a feeling your name should have been a bit more crass than how I was saying it. Intimidation. Lay a hand on me and lose it, Bones. DC of 15. We can beat that. We did beat that. Not very nice. Not very friendly. Why are you here then, little one, if not to see Godi? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to kill Casador. How dare you! As if you could lay a finger on the master, you ungrateful little brat! Godi will not let you get away with blasphemy. Godi will see you punished! Godi, you're all alone. That can't be good for you. Well, bon appetit. Carly's gonna feed you some hands. <laughs> All right, one hit, two hits, and maybe one more. That might do it. That worked out. <laughs> Got him. I'll take your key to the kennel and the family ring. The engravings on the ring match the language on that strange door. I still can't read it, though. Yeah, reading can be hard, bud. I know. Very low intelligence. 
but he knows how to punch. I'll take all of that. Do we have all that we need? Well, here's another door. Let's go inside. It's probably not safe to do that, but I like to look around. Green fern. Okay, you look like the other guy. I must be busy. Busy, busy, busy. Master might see me. Master might approve. All of you need therapy and probably a hug. The spawn dormitory. Okay. Let's pop inside. The dormitory. This is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the carrot nor the stick. I feel like you were never in here, Sirian. Wait, you got to sleep in bunk beds? Now that's really rude. All of you are grown spawn and you've got to sleep in a bunk bed with your bunk mate. Ooh, a fancier room for favored spawn. You even get a few toys too. Weird, but all right. I don't see anything of note in here. We have what we need. We'll head back to the door then. Yeah, I don't see too much else to poke around at, so we should go back up. We're gonna check out that dictionary first. The book is a dictionary of the ancient Kozakuran language from the distant land of Karator. Flipping through the pages, you find certain words and phrases underlined. Open, enter, beware, forbidden, sealed. All right, now we know. I've seen this before. Inscribed on the Tsar's signet ring, I think. We be worthy of you. The door remains sealed, with naught to see but strange writing and a small hollow. Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. I'm going to feed you a key now, and then I'll read that inscription aloud. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. You know what? I'm not very hungry. I think dinner might be over, and that's okay. Oh, we're gonna have a battle for sure. We've got bats, werewolves, wolves. Ah, let's go inside. We know what's gonna happen. Hi, everyone. You can't be here. No one in, no one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. The runaway spawn. You reek of the master's scent. Come with us. Come to master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered around my own house by some blowing mutt. We bring you to him. We get his favor. His favor? You get a bone thrown at you? Well, I've got some from Gotti. Oh, there's a lot of them. A lot of giant rats, bats, all of it. Well, let's go after what we're able to hit. There's a lot that we would have to hit to begin with. But off we go. Dread Ambusher. I'll take out while the wolves go first. We could try to hit them. Yeah, that could do it. I do not have advantage, of course. White Mist. There you go. I'm going hunting. I have a big target in front of me. A critical strike. We'll strike again. Two HP left. Oh, that's close. Action Surge? Yeah. I would think so. I only want them gone. Okay, sharpshooter back on. Disadvantage, we need to move a little bit closer. Not a problem. Now we get to hit again. Perfect. All right, we're done. Your turn. Come over here, blood fang. You're about to be a bloodied fang. Oh, dashing away? That's all right. I'll go after that wolf. Sure, we'll jump by it. The rats I'll get in a moment, but you, I don't want you here. Not a critical strike, that's all right. Now we have one, a divine smite level two. Another enemy gone. I've learned a lot about the game. I know how to build a deadly, deadly character. Will, it's your turn. Oh, there's so much you get to do, Will. It's gonna be delightful. We could go after the more minor targets, but 
That feels like a waste. Why not go after a few other targets that are, I don't know, a bit more fun. We're going to use Hellcrawler. Let's do that. I'm gonna teleport right by them, but also hurt them a little bit. Yeah, right there. And off we go. Very cool. A bit of damage for you, even on the rat. I could try to push you away. Attack two enemies at once. Well, you would have to be right by each other. Instead, I'm going to use a defensive flourish. We'll do that. Our armor class will go up by four if we hit. We did hit. A withering cut afterwards. Beautiful. Let's strike again. There it is, another cut. And we're done for now. That's working out very well, I think. All right, Karlak, it's your turn. Thankfully, you're able to move quite far. We'll take out again that werewolf. All right, and another punch. Our punches are over. Oh my wa mo shinduru. And you're dead. Hey, that was good timing. All right, we can punch a rat. Oh, I can't move nearly as far. Well, that's a shame. I could certainly use a misty step, but I think I'll instead use my rage. We don't get angry too often, but here's a good time to get angry. Now we're done. Their turn. Oh, they're all moving in. Thankfully, their turns are quick. Will has a very high AC to hit him. You would probably need a nat 20. I would like to imagine he's dodging all of them like Neo in the Matrix. A counter. And a punch. Beautiful. All right. You're trying to hit Edrahill. That's a bit easier to do. Here comes another werewolf. Claws and Karlak. They can't hit us. You're not a vampire. What are you doing? All right. Back to shooting. Back to hunting again. We're not going to need our sharpshooter, but... I suppose we could go after the larger targets. Like you, buddy boy. Sneak attack. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. We'll attack again. And we're done for now. We've done our part. I'll use a short rest before we meet Cazador. Unless I'm surprised, then I won't be able to do that and I'll have made a bad choice. All right. One dead rat. Two dead rats. And one more to go. Got them. If only I had my rat bat. Oh, I love my rat bat. If I wasn't a paladin, I would be a rat slayer for sure. There's always gold to be made in that business. All right, about my two enemies. A slashing flourish. Let's use it. Nice. Well, that worked out. Oh, bat, you're okay. Oh, a savage howl, so you've got more HP. That's a pain for me. All right, very well. One more attack. Perfect. Oh, you're frightened, right. Will is very scary. He's able to frighten his enemies quite a bit. His gear is a lot of fun to use altogether. Hell Dusk. All right, one more punch. We got them. And then we get to punch a rat. That feels weird. <laughs> or kick a rat. <laughs> Just flying through the air, screeching. All of you are scared. You're trying to bite a character who's got an incredibly high AC. And Asterion, you get to go shooting again. Do that for me. All right, one gone, and we'll shoot a bat. I mean, maybe if they had more werewolves, they would have been scarier, but they did not. I'll go shooting too. That's a pretty good shot. It might be a giant rat, but that's still a small target. We did it. The battle is over now. Let's have a look around. Here's a dead person. I wonder, what do you have? I'll get you in. Okay. Sanzi, I've been invited to play at a party. Oh no! You weren't meant to be here! That's a very nice chair. I can't take it. Ah, what a shame. All right, do they have any loot on them that I really care about? Well, they've got a stage. They were all murdered. It would be cool to find sheet music in the world, then you would be able to play that. I think that would be a lot of fun. Okay, there's a door over in that corner. There's an open room over to the right. We'll go there first. I'll have to really explore. There's a lot to look at. Oh, a button, but also a ladder. It goes 
Maybe outside or to an attic. There's only a button up here. Okay. It opens another room. Huh. A casket. Who's in here? Tarsac. 1477. Interesting. I was summoned to the city palace by Uncle Cazador. Alright. A family member then. And another door. We'll keep on digging. We're not meant to be up here, that's for sure. Holy crap, it's massive! Some garlic. That's pretty funny. It evidently didn't work out. Maybe it's like an alternate way inside? I don't know. But I've got to investigate, that's for sure. Another major room. I'll have to come back to dig a bit more, but let's climb up that ladder. Holy crap, I'm nimble. That was quick. Alright, there's a wooden chest, but not too much else. We'll go back to the ballroom after we're done here. Alright, a pouch. Could there be anything interesting in it? A key. Oh, well that might be important. But, that's about it. Yeah, I believe so. We'll head back over to the ballroom. Casador sure does love buttons. We didn't press that button. Let's do that now. It closed our current door. Why would that be handy? It's got to be a puzzle. Okay, Asterion, you'll go out. There was a door I couldn't interact with. That one in that corner. So it's got to be for that. Look, I've been a DM for a long, long time. That's why I love the game so much. There we go. Another button after that. And a key to a safe. Oh, don't worry. They're all looted. <laughs> that door is locked. Okay. Well, here's what I'll do. I'll check that out. All of us. Does that open... Maybe a door down over here? I'm not too sure. Yeah, that should have been opened by default. Unless there's another place that's been opened up. Well... If that's true, I don't know about it at the moment. I'll poke around a little bit more, I think in a bit. So, what we'll do, we'll press that button again. And get out of here. Yeah, let me out. Back over to Edger Hill. There it is. Alright, the office hall. Oh, that would probably lead maybe downstairs. Should mind my staff. Let's not go there just yet. Party planner, another office. Could it be his room? I don't know. Maybe. Nothing inside that I need, no. Yeah. It was used by a chamberlain. Well, with that said, we only need to descend. Let's do that. You stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age. Signs of things dragged onto it over the years. But it seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. That's true. Why don't we descend? More doors. I feel like Cazador only has his dungeon to fill it with doors. Or gates. Whoa. That's imposing. What in the hells? I never knew any of this was here. I bet you did not. It's incredibly dark. We don't need to go any closer. If I need to jump down, I've got Featherfall. I'll be okay. Very well. Another gate. Well, that gate should lead to the same room. Yeah. Which means we'll go over here first. Maybe the one to our right would be the main gate. So we're going to have a look around. 
I've got a key, it should work. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Check out my bling. That should do it, I would imagine. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Yeah, it's all pungent. Light some incense. You've got candles, but they're not scented. Oh, what's in here? Whoa. His room? Okay. I'll take that. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. Reveal to me your bony ways. The skull's memories rise and unfold. Let them wash over you. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Wisdom. I could try that. Concentrate on the memory. Tell me about that first lesson. DC of 15. My wisdom is very, very low. 16. It worked out. Valioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. It's all a cycle of abuse, it seems like. I'll try to concentrate again. I doubt I'll be able to pass another roll, but we'll try. Yeah, that didn't work out. That's okay. You are distracted by an errant thought and lose the thread of Velioth's lesson. Velioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. Damn. Let's move on. Velioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the right of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then, to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Everything about the ritual has got to be here. The power structure of Baldur's Gate. It's a journal about Casador's thoughts and concerns about, of course, the power structure of Baldur's Gate and how the changing balance between the factions affects his own ability to operate in the city without interference or competition. Guilds, nobles, politicians. If he controlled even a fraction of these, the city could be his and no one would ever know. A scroll of names. There's so many here. Thousands of names. This couldn't be part of the ritual. Could it? Maybe. Meditations of a Vampire Lord, written by Marcus... No, no. The Journal of Casador. It records the movements and actions of his spawn, with particular attention paid to Asterion. Every order, failure, and punishment is recorded with cold calculation. Interesting. What a cruel, cruel character. And a bit of loot. That's not what I'm here for, but it doesn't hurt. I like to make my money. Oh, hold on, I could jump over to the right. And again, I could move downwards. That's true. I'm not gonna go down there just yet. We're gonna down. check out the main gate before we do that. I need to know what's over there. I might get stuck or something. You never know. Yeah, there it is. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Clearly, Casador wants us down here. Otherwise, he would have put up actual defenses, really. We had to fight those werewolves, but they just happened to be there. Let's open up. 
The ring slots perfectly into place and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Another gate. Wait, hold on. There's prisoners inside. Let's check it out. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Asterion, do you know who these prisoners are? I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. But where in the hells do they come from? You? I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You... No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. We failed a roll, but that's okay. Who is he? It's not just him. I know so many of these faces. They're my... conquests. I pursued them. Seduced them. And brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them. But he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? I'm going to let Asterion answer. 170 years. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. (laughs) They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. I'm not going to set them free. I can't do that. There's a reason for that. I know that we're being given a very sympathetic light to the vampire spawn, and I do understand, but you've got to have a deeper understanding of how undead energies work, how the undead work. They're a parasitic group. It's a tragedy what happened to them, but if we let them go, tragedies would befall other people. Imagine I let them go. They tell me, They're going to be like Asterion. They'll only feed on animals. But then they change their mind. They turn other people, then other people after that. How many people would need to die by that decision? Unfortunately, something happened to them. However, I can't let anything else happen to other people. We need to go. Now. There's no escape. No escape for us. And no escape for you, Astarian. This nightmare never ends and it's your fault. You did this, damn you! I damn you to the hells! I damn you to misery! I damn you! God's above. He kept Sebastian. I should have known what Cazador was capable of. Ah, 
He's played us for such fools. And not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone, whoever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. He's willing to do that in order to gain power, to become like Kazador. If he gains power like Kazador, he's going to change. Nothing about him tells me that he wouldn't change, that he would be the same Asterian that we know now. His background is that of a charlatan, and unfortunately, I do believe he craves power. He's made that very clear. If someone tells you something, believe them. If they show you who they are, that's who they are. All right, look. We're not going to save them. We're not going to do any of that. It is Cazador's cruelty, not yours, to have kept them alive in this way. That much is true. Thank you. Yes. This will all be over soon. It's just... Sickening. Seeing them again. I don't know what else. We only have one more cell to check out. I know it's not going to be good. I know it's going to be difficult. But let's make sure. Hey. Hey, you. Come closer. Oh, God. It can't be. It is you. I knew it. I'll kill you. Once I get out of here, I'll kill you! You're the children from the Monster Hunters camp. Ha camp! Monster Hunters! Uh, the girl camp! Oh god! My parents' camp! Uh, Chessa, focus! Resist the beast in inside you. Uh, you promised. Uh, it's your fault. You did this to us. Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us. He's the reason we're spawns. Uh, I'll kill you. Uh, <laughs> yes. Now that you um, <laughs> mention it, uh, I may have done... That? Oh, don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. <laughs> Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. Uh, I didn't bring them in with sweet rolls or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Oh. We did promise their parents we would save them. I don't see a good response here. Really, they're already dead. What I told the parents, I told them that I would save their children. They're living children. They're vampires now. They're undead. They're no longer living. Which means I don't need to save them. In fact, to save them, really, to save their souls, I would need to destroy them. It's a very unpleasant, difficult choice. I know that Edger Hill has done so many good things. He has helped out so many people. But keep in mind, he's about vengeance. He's about taking out evil and sometimes you've got to do things that personally you wouldn't want to do but you know it must be done however right here i've got to say we did promise their parents we would save them parents you've seen my parents they're looking for you i miss them i, I think or perhaps it's the hunger. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. You should go. Leave us here. We shouldn't be out there. We'd hurt our families. That's true. It is true. I'm sorry it had to end this way. Good luck to you. Tell them... Tell them you couldn't find us. I had to spend a moment to get ready for a vampire fight. So whenever you fight a vampire lord, what's going to happen? They're going to have necrotic damage. They're going to have spellcasting. 
It's not like some melee minion. Kazador, he's meant to be some aristocrat, so he's bound to have some manner of spellcasting with him. That's why everyone here has had one elixir of necrotic resistance. That way we'll be able to cut any damage pertaining to that in half. Also, I brought I back a very old blade for Edrahill, the Susser Greatsword. So. Remember, we got that in Act 1 in the Underdark. Whenever I hit someone, they're silenced. Of course, I won't be able to deal nearly as much damage, but that's okay. We could always change it out later. Next, what I'll do, I'll get my Wyvern Toxin, and I'm going to throw it onto the ground. You'll see why. It's time to dip it. It should last. Yeah, perfect. Asterion, it's your turn. I want you to dip your weapons. All right, you've got that. Karlak, you can. I mean, you could like cup it in your hand, but that would be weird. Finally, Will, it's your turn. Perfect. All right, we have everything that we need all together. It's now time to go out there. I could keep Asterion behind. I could do that. Will I do that? No, because I want him to talk to Kazador. He's meant to confront his abuser, his torturer. I wouldn't deprive him of that. We'll talk about what we do later on, about the vampire spawn, about all the vampires here. Oh, what a room. Very fancy. Let's get a bit closer. I could spread out my party. I do see the vampire spawn who are meant to be sacrificed. And there he is, Kazador. So who would I leave behind? It could be Will. Yeah, Will, why don't you wait back here? Do that for me. For the rest of us, it's time for us to go say hello. Let's go do that. Oh crap, hold on. We have a curse. If I had gone into combat with that curse, that would have been a really bad idea. Curse of the Sired. Cursed by a victim he brought to Kazador many years ago. He's got disadvantage on all saving throws. I do have a scroll for that. I could use a spell, but that'll be cheaper for me. Now finally, <laughs> We get to go say hello. I'm ready. I'm sure. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No. No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! They told me you had changed. I dared not believe it. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. No! Stop him! Get me out of this! Witness the birth! Of the Vampire Ascendant! Eke Dominus! Fight on if you must, but I am only growing stronger! Call lightning on Karlak. 
Another one after that. 60 HP left for Edrahill. Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. Alright, so what do we even begin doing? Well, Will's got a few treats for our enemies. We could try to use them all. That would be nice, yeah. Alright, Will, move up. We're heavily outnumbered. They've got what on their side? A lot of bats. Those are going to be annoying. They'll be able to keep me from moving around freely. Four werewolves. One level 12 spellcaster called Chatter Teeth. And three Fallen Gur Hunters, their ghouls. We've got seven vampire spawn, including Asterion. He's way up north. I could easily misty step over to him and save him, but because he was meant to go first, he won't be able to move until turn two. The time for his turn is past. Unfortunate. All right. Will, come on over, pal. Here's what I'm gonna get you to do, okay? You've got your goodies. You're going to use them all right now. One here. Another there. Another over here. I got these in Act 1, and also I pick them up whenever I see them. I didn't know what we were going to face, but what I do know... It never hurts to have a few smoke powder barrels. It never does. Okay. They're all down. That's great news. What else could I do? Well, I could have you use a potion of invisibility. Then you could move all the way over there. That would also be great. I could have you move down here. And you could put down a glyph. Yeah, that could do something nice, I would imagine. We could move way over here. A cloud of daggers, you would maintain concentration. I don't want to use anything like that yet. So, let's wait and see. Because I want him to be by Asterion, which means I probably don't want him to enter combat. You know what? While we're down here, let's have a look around. We've got the time for it. So why not do that? Okay, so we've got... A marble plate trap. A DC of only 10. A 5. We failed. That's okay. We've got time. Or I'll wait for Asterion. <laughs> no. I'll be able to do it again. A 16. Jack of all trades. Nice. And here's a scroll. Our illustrious predecessors. Brief notes on the succession of master vampires in Baldur's Gate. Wow. That's a lot of information. Dixon Nightbinder. Alright, let's pick that up. And what do we have over here? Flesh to stone. That could be really good. What type of save do they need to make? A con save. Gotcha. And we've got Conjure Elemental. That's really good too. That's going to help out. Nice. Let's run back for just a moment. I'm going to put down a glyph. Where? Well, I'll see in just a moment. Because I don't want to be too close or I'll be pushed into combat. A glyph of sleep? What about detonation? Maybe a better idea. Okay, good. We're not in combat. Next, we're going to drink a potion of invisibility. Every step counts. Okay, we don't need to sneak. Heading out. Not now. And he's going to pick up Asterion later. Not yet. Yeah, there we go. Let's check out what happens if I step on a sigil. Well played, but I still have power enough to rend the flesh from your bones. I bet you do, buddy. All right. So, Throw Will. Every power if you wish. It will not save you. You're going to wait way over here for right now. That's all that I want you to do. Let's go back to Karlak. Fuck yes. That was a lot of prep, I know, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I'm hoping. Let's use... Let's see. Haste. Yeah, we'll do that. Then I'll run way over here. In fact, I'll dash. Yeah, we'll dash way down over here. That'll keep us alive. 
That much I know. Cool. All right, so you'll wait roughly right there. And you're done. You could move further, but you might not need to. They all get to move in. Kazador, did you need to strip everyone half nude before draining their power, you weirdo? Oh, there's a stinking cloud. If we move into it, we'll need to make a saving throw. If we fail, we'll become nauseous. If we become nauseous, we'll miss out on our turn. I wonder, does it only impact us, or could it impact the werewolves? That would be interesting. Oh, they're close together. Good. Heck yeah. It's actually kind of a good thing that Edrahill is going to move much later. Okay, then the bats. That means I would get pretty much everyone but who. Well, let's see. The two werewolves, Chatter Teeth. I'll probably wait for Karlak to shoot them. Ooh, there's a lot of bats. All right. So, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. We'll run. A miss. Another attack. Two damage. I'll take it. Then I'll take a haste. Let's run. Ooh, I can't run that far. Let's get as close as we Best can. My way. Then what I'll do, I don't want to use up a spell slot, so Karlac, give me your scroll of Misty Step. I'll use it. And I want to pop up over here. Perfect. Oh, I'll be able to use Daylight, nice. But before I use it, time for lay on hands because I'm hurt. I'm really hurt a lot. 48 HP, cool. And he's ready to move. Their turn to move in. Yeah, all of you converge. Unfortunately, if I save Asterion right now, he's gonna have to miss one more turn, but that'll work out. Oh, come on, move closer. All of you suck. Boo! Come on, Chatter Teeth, get over here, bud. Okay, he's a bit too far, but again, that's all right. Kazador, what are you gonna do? Turn into a floating bloody fart? That's great, I guess. Oh, if only he would wait right there, but he's not. He's moving up. What a shame. Okay, Karlak, you're gonna move up. In fact, you'll move over here. After that, I'll go back to Edrahill. I know you've got, let's see, where are they? Your arrows of fire. Bring them out, cut it in half, give some over to Karlak, hand them over. Well, if you won't do that, then we'll try it now. There we go. Then Karlak, you'll shoot your arrow of fire right over here. That should get them. Let's go. Cool. Look at how many are gone now. Oh, that was amazing. We've got what? One spellcaster, two werewolves, a nearly destroyed ghoul. All right, I'm going to use my bulb. Chatter teeth, you're close by, right? Yeah, you are. Have a fun trip, hopefully. Ah, I was hoping it would actually bring him a little bit further down, but it didn't. All right, fine. I'll try again. I'll throw another one. He's not quite fallen off. Let's try that. And he's gone. Okay, no more spellcaster. That's even better for me. I would like to jump away now. Kazador, he might be able to reach me, though, which worries me a lot. My other option, I move over here by the werewolf. Yeah, I might as well do that. Let's go back. Yoink. I was gonna use my trap, but forget about it. I'm here. Cool. All right, before we do anything else, we'll go back to Will. Will, it's your turn. Let's wake up our buddy. Done. Oh, Casador, he's got to be fuming. But he's far away. He won't be able to do anything. Not right now. All right, well, you won't be able to move. Not anymore. Karlak, you're done. Their turn. 
We'll get Edrahill back once we're able to. Okay, they're going after Karlak. And Edrahill, what about you? Well, I want you to use a Misty Step. Too far away again. Don't lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Now, we'll move over here. I'm going to use my Misty Step. Close by. Perfect. I could strike right away, but instead I'm going to use my Daylight Spell because if Kazador moves close by, I want him to be weakened. And I'm still able to attack. Cool. We'll go after the werewolf. Silenced. Okay, that still works. Divine Smite level 2, only because I want to get rid of him quickly. Good job. We'll stay close by. Alright. We're about to take out a few ads. Here's a counter from Karlak. A punch to the throat. And he's dead. One more werewolf. I have known you for two centuries. Have I not suffered enough? What a jerk. Okay, let's go back to Asterion. We've got two bats here. I'm not worried about two bats. They don't concern me. Dance Macabre. I could bring them out right now. Casador would hate that. Wait. Look at that pose of that one ghoul. <laughs> That's an old trend, pal. You're a bit late. Action Surge. I could use it. That's true. Hunter's Mark. That would allow me to inflict more piercing damage. Narratively, I won't allow Asterion to attack a spawn. Why? Largely because he wants to ascend. The game would let me, but he wouldn't want to do that. That means he'll focus on our enemies and Kazador, but that's it. Other characters, they would have to take out a spawn or two. I might leave them up only to give Asterion a choice. Otherwise, I could destroy them before going after Asterion. Or Kazador. Whoops, I nearly slipped. Alright, let's hide here for just a little bit. Hey, it worked out. That's pretty funny. And he's done. I'm not going to use my action surge. Not yet. There's Kazador. Well, he didn't really move that far down. That gives me a great chance to actually take out what's left. Like that one goal. Let's keep on punching. Holy crap, she hits hard. She's not even done. No. Man, did I have to blow them up? Maybe not. She's got it under control. Another dead werewolf. Nice. Okay. Let's keep on moving. I am worried about... Not that bad, but I am worried about Kazador being too hard to hit. So if I took out any enemy, maybe it should be Violet. 5 AC is a lot, man. I'll wait and see. Okay, back to Edrahill. We've got, what, bats around? Oh no, not bats. But then again, would Edrahill avoid killing any vampire spawn? Probably not. Yeah, I highly doubt that. To lose. I'm trying to factor in all the different decisions we can make. You know what? It might be time to go. I'm very sorry. Another attack. A bonus attack at that. We'll move on to that sigil to deactivate it for now. I'll use a potion later. Alright, well, let's have you also move up. Ignore the bats. We'll get them later. And let's see. What do you have? You've got your flask. That's pretty cool. Do we really need it? No. But here's an elemental. Oh, hold on. It won't let me select a variant to avoid that problem. I'll move it down here. Then I'll click on it. And we'll bring out an Earth Elemental. Yeah, those are great for their knockdown. Cool. All right. That worked out. It's been deactivated. So we get to wait there. Or I get to use my bonus action to use Strength. We'll do that instead. I'll use it on a bat if I'm able to see one. Hold on. What can I see? Ah, there we go. Got it. I'll be able to recast it later. Also, he's got a strange conduit ring. 
Whenever he's concentrating, he'll deal an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage. That's a lot of additional damage. Wow. But I've already won my boy. Is inevitable. I disagree. But hey, I'm glad you're positive. Let's go get Asterion to move forward. And we'll try to hit him. We'll try to do something to him. He's pretty far away, which is, again, unfortunate. I could try to knock him off. Maybe Asterion would do that because he wouldn't care. He's like, yeah, I'll kill him. I've got a few things you're able to use. We could use like a wall of fire. Flesh to stone. Oh, that would be cool. I wonder... Could that work on him? We'll see. We'll find out later. But for now, let's wait here. And while we wait here, could I shoot any bats? Yeah, I would like to try. They're too far away. Fine. Yeah, we'll just wait here for a little while. And I could also use silence as he moves down. Like that. Cool. All done. He's moving down. Now he's dashing. Come on, get stuck. Ah, he was able to move through it. A blight on Sterion, but here's a counter spell. Haha, -ha, take that. We could push him back in, that's true, but he would be able to get out. Okay. What an idiot. Good choice for me, but not for you. All right, that bat will ignore it. I'll go take out Yusin. Ooh, Asterion is not going to like that. But I really like the idea of seeing what he's got to say after we're done here. Ah, oh, it's killing me. Fine, we'll go beat up on Kazador. That's what I'll do. I'll leave one elemental to decrease his overall AC. Oh, heck yeah. That hurt him a lot. All right, I would like to... Wait, could I topple a gas cloud? Maybe not. I'll try to stun him. Okay, he's not stunned. No more call lightning for him to use. Now, he's currently stunned. That's pretty darn sweet. Get punched on, nerd. All right, here's a bonus attack. He's going down. Back over to the ghouls. They're actually kind of a waste at the moment. I might have to shove one away. That way, Edrahill would be able to hit him. I could always turn off the silence. Or we could keep it on, then trap him right there. And just bring him to Pound Town, man. All right, no one's doing anything. Then again, Edrahill, he's got a sword that would allow him to silence his enemy. Yeah, that's true, too. Oh, come on. Go away, bats. God, I hate you. Let's jump right there. Cool. Hold on. I said jump right there. And I said it was cool, so do it now, Edger Hill. All right, nice. Let's get to swinging. A critical strike. He's been silenced by, of course, that spell. I don't know if my blade works. Maybe it is an overlap because, again, he's already silenced. We'll find out later. He's taking damage. Will is about to move. Will, I'm gonna have you move up too. And you've got some fun spells. We could try them out. You could also try to make him fearful. That would be funny. Does it impact our allies? Let me see. Targets. Okay. We don't want to try that. We could try to mock Casador for fun. Yeah. We make better strangers. Wow. That was your vicious mockery? <laughs> well, that sucked. Let's have him wait there for now. Yeah, I was hoping the ghouls would go after the bats instead. That would be an easy way to get rid of them. All right, for my elemental, we'll just take out some bats. We got one there. Tell me how you took care of this fight. I wonder if they changed it to where you can't just like push them off. That would be interesting. Okay, Kazador. You're about to be hit by a lot of damage, potentially. Sneak attack, done. And we'll keep on shooting. That's what we'll do for now. Another critical hit. Action surge, because we're not done. A piercing shot for some bleed damage, hopefully. I mean, he won't be able to move anyway. Why? Because he's stunned. 
Karlak. I've turned her into a monster. Oh, she's so powerful. If I wanted to tank a bit, then I could have her rage. Alright, back to punching. I'll try to stun him again. It always feels good whenever you lock down an enemy boss. <laughs> I wonder how much time I saved by getting rid of all the adds. Okay, you've taken a lot of damage. Here's another bonus attack. I don't want to misclick. There's a lot of ghouls here. When they're destroyed, they blow up. All done again. All right. 294 for HP. You know he's so pompous. He's like, ah, I'll get them. Even now, he's probably like that. He's like, they don't have the upper hand. I do. Okay, Adriel. Continue your attack. I mean, great weapon master, you don't have a high chance to hit, so you might as well get what you can. Like that. Nice work. And he's not dead yet, but we're getting closer. Another attack. There. Alright, all done. I mean, we completely shut him down. And... I wonder... Could I make him laugh a lot? A low chance, but I'll keep on trying for fun. Oh my god, it worked. He's currently stunned, but also laughing. That's hilarious. Good job, Will. Oh, now you're trying to kill Yusin. If you do, it's not my fault. We'll take out another bat. Or try to, that didn't work out. A hey, good job getting rid of that AC. If I didn't have that one elemental, this would have been a pain. They're also all going after my elemental. They hate him a lot. Leave my Pokemon alone. I call him Muddymon. Look, I'm a paladin, not a namer of things. We'll keep on shooting. I mean, if I can, I would allow him to get a killing blow, but I'll get what I'm able to get, right? Stunned anyway. I'll try it again. I don't have to give up. He's not stunned. I've got plenty of key left. Oh, he's got it. He's okay. Ooh, you've been making your saves today. Good for you. Soul catching boon. Another hit. He's made every single save. 55 HP left. Yeah, I'll have. I suppose Edra Hill hit him. Then I'll allow Asterion to get that killing blow. Unless I accidentally do it, then if so, a oh well. Come on, Edrahill. One attack. 32 HP. Still silenced. 7 HP left. Alright. I'll leave it to Asterion. We're done for now. Let's drink a potion. Perfect. All right, Will, you're not going to attack. Not right now. You're gonna wait here. Take your time. All right, waiting for that one ghoul. They're wasting my time. For fun, we'll try to kill a bat. Done. I hope I don't need to kill all the bats after I tank out Casador. That would be a shame, right? I think so. <laughs> you're trying to bite mud. What a terrible idea. Okay, Asterion. It's time. Hold on. Turn off your sharpshooter. Now try it. A critical miss. Bad timing for that, bud. Come on, I'm trying to give you a killing blow. No way. You're kidding me. <laughs> he missed. All right. Let's try one more time. Would it be easier? No, you can't stab him. You can't reach him, unfortunately. Uh, let's go back. One more attack. Oh my god. It wasn't meant to be. He's gone. Oh wait. He teleported. He's back in his sarcophagus. Alright. Well, I'm gonna take out the bats real fast. Then we'll go check that out. I want my loot, bud. I gave it a little bit more thought. I could allow Asterion to make a choice, however, Edrahill wouldn't risk one vampire getting out of here. 
and I'll talk more about that in just a little bit. We've got, what, roughly 125,000 people in Baldur's Gate, 7,000 vampires here. That would be roughly like 18 people per vampire. What have you, done? you know what I've done. Also, Asterion would feel guilt. He would. These spawn he grew up with. Oh, they're not actually nude. They've got coverings. If I was allowed to show nudity, Hill would be hanging dong in camp every day. Let's keep on hitting. We'll keep on doing that. If he ascends, he's going to lose his soul. That wouldn't be great. Why? It happens to a Mind Flayer when someone becomes a Mind Flayer. Their soul is completely consumed. That's why we're going to get rid of them right now. Can't slow down. Because we can't risk any vampire coming about. We're not going to let it happen. Yeah, I dug around Cazador's notes. He talks about living forever. He talks about sleeping, but not being able to rest. He talks about not being able to die. And also, he grieves. That means if Asterion ascends, he would become another Cazador. He would be unhappy. And I feel like it's very much in character for Edrahil to do this. Many people call him a good guy. He does a lot of good things. I do think he's a good person, but again, He's a paladin of vengeance. We've got a great evil. Kazador is gone, but what's left? 7,000 vampires. Spawn who we can't trust. Let's say they wanted to leave. Where would they go? How much blood would they need? I don't know. Also, many vampires here have been in dungeons for what? 100 years, 200 years? They've got to be crazy. And one more to go. Right there. Then finally, we get to confront Casador. But no one's going to ascend. Not now. We're nearly done. A few more hits. Now, let's begin. No, no. No healing soup for you. Wake up! Get your hands off me, worm! Ha! <sighs> I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. And then? What will you be without me? A shade? A spectre in the shadow? Devoid of all purpose? What are we going to do here? Well, we know Asterion doesn't care about being a hero. Also, as an additional note, it's a devil's pact. If we consume all 7,000 vampires for Asterion to ascend, their souls are going to be damned to the hells for eternity. That's terrible. Anyway, he'll be free. Nothing else matters. <laughs> the spawn will never be free! He is my creation, now and for eternity! You might have made me what I am, but I can be so much more than what you created me to be! But... I am grateful for one thing. You showed me how to really savor moments like this.
His old master lies dead, never to control Astarian again. He's free, unlike the thousands of spawn still trapped in their cells. Cazador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. 7,000 vampire spawn, including the stolen children of the Gur Hunters. What will you do with them all? I do understand that they're trying to make it a difficult decision. For Andrew it's not a difficult decision. It's very simple. When you become that undead, you die. That's it. Asterion again is a very unique situation because of the parasite. He's been allowed to pursue a different pathway. In any other world, Andrew Hill would have destroyed him. We can't trust the other vampires. We don't know them. We don't know what will happen. Statistically, innocent people will die. Andrew Hill won't let that happen. They're too dangerous. They need to die. Here, they won't lose their souls forever to the hells. They'll be free. They won't be tortured by being a tragedy. We did talk about that earlier, not creating more tragedies. And again, if Asterion ascended, he would become the abuser. That's what would happen. He would have consumed everyone here. The guilt would eventually get to him. The power, it would change him. Like I said before, they need to die. I don't like it. But you're right. Putting them to rest may be the kindest thing we can do. They deserved better. They deserved a chance. I... I think we're done here. Let's go. That's it. He's gone. After all these years, these centuries, it's really over. How does it feel? I'm not sure. I feel a little uh, numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. Oh, God. All those spawn. Dead in their cells. I need some time, I think. I... Just to let it all sink in. <laughs> Let's just go. This place reeks of death and I want to feel alive again. Don't worry about what Will said. He's a good guy. He means well, but he's an idiot. Think about all the times in our story where he would for some reason trust Mazora. Then she would betray his expectations and he would go, Mazora! So don't worry about him. Another key to a vault. Well, those are cleaned out. We've also got a new quarterstaff. Whoa. We get Blight for free. It's a bound weapon. Arcane Vampirism. When the creatures affected by your spells fail, any associated saving throws regain 1 to 4 hit points. Interesting. I did see a dagger. It should be in Cazador. Here's a ring. I'll take that. And Rhapsody. Gain a plus one bonus to attack rolls, damage, and spell save DC for every foe you slay, up to a max of plus three. Sweet bloodletting, possibly inflict bleeding when hitting a creature with this weapon while hiding or invisible. Cool. Well, we've got that. I'll probably give it to Asterion. Now we get to leave though. Let's get out of here. I'm done. I've done my part. Oh, the guard down here. Let's give him the bad and good news. 
you killed not only Cazador, but also his wretched creations. I expected less. So I can see from all your heavily armed friends. You didn't think I could resist completing the ritual, did you? I admit, I had my doubts. But where are our children? What of their fate? They died as vampire spawn. It was the only mercy we could give them. DC of 15, we'll add a bardic inspiration. Friends too. 29. Killing children makes for a strange kind of mercy. Although, given what they'd become. Believe me when I say it was for the best. The pain from the hunger alone. There's nothing like it. Perhaps there was something to that. A kindness I would not have credited you with. Well, that's backhanded as compliments come, though I'll take it if it means you're done trying to kill me. I never dreamt a spawn could find redemption, but yes, you will never be hunted again. As for you, you have my people's thanks. I know you face trials ahead. We will stand with you as best we can. Until then, go in peace and thank you. Well, we're done doing that. We get to go back to camp. Let's talk to Gandril. I wish I could have held my little ones one last time. Shared one last smile with Chessa. I do get it, I do. And I do feel bad for them. But they weren't their kids anymore. All right, out we go, back to camp. The girl will join us, that's good. Let's have a look around. We do have other quests to do. We could rescue the Grand Duke, take out the Steel Watch, that's another option. And there's also Gortash. Let me know what quest you would like for us to do next and what team members you would like for me to bring. Let's go talk to everyone. And I don't know who put clothing on my statue. That looks weird. All right, we'll talk to Asterion first, just in case he might have a few more words to say. Yes. Like that, yeah. Then I'll talk to Gil. You did a good thing back there. I won't dwell on the matter. I know that's not a sentiment you're accustomed to reveling in, but rest assured, your actions have spoken for themselves. Well, thank you. Carlac. <sighs> He'd hate to hear me say this, but I'm so fucking proud of Astarian. He could have had it all, but he kept his soul instead. Wasn't sure he had it in him, but he's changed so much. Overcome so much darkness. Oh, I could smooch that pointy little face. Please, Zell. Astarian chose right. And any well-trained Githyanki would have chosen the same. We seek might not for individual power, but for the good of the collective. I may no longer serve Flakith, but I still attend to a collective. The allies of the Prince of the Comet. And, of course, the one we've made for ourselves. To seek power for personal glory alone is a farce. Astarian was wise to see it. Damn, Lazel. All right. She has grown so much. All right, we'll talk to... You know what? I'll check anyway. Come for a chat? Nothing to say. All right, we'll go over to... Oh, you know who. The Mad Rashomar. To forswear the strength of 7,000 souls. That is an act of true strength, says Boo. Astarian may borrow Minsk's muscles whenever he is needful. Brave, powerful, puny Astarian. That's pretty funny. They say that the only thing a vampire can feel is hunger. Nothing else touches them. Not grief or mercy. Or any sense of what is just. Who knows? 
There is often more ignorance than insight in what they say. A great line. I love it. Allison, ignore the blood. The Starian resisted the allure of Cazador's would-be powers, and I am glad of it. Whatever he would have gained would have come at a great price. Astarian showed restraint where most others wouldn't. He might not appreciate the sentiment, but I'm proud of him. You look terrifying. I mean, with your helmet or without it, really, you look terrifying. And finally, Shadowheart. So Astarian didn't fulfill his master's ambitions for himself. At least that means he's his own man. Though, I'm a little surprised he didn't covet those powers. Good God, that outfit looks great on her. All right, so we're done here for now, everyone. Make sure that you do leave a comment about what you think about my choices. Of course, I'm always open to a discussion. Let me know what quests we should do next, and also who you would like to see in my party. Depending on what we do, I'll change up our composition for sure. And I'm still working on a form where we'll be able to, as a group, decide what my next character will be like when it comes to class, when it comes to who they might sacrifice, and so on and so on. Until then. Many people wanted to know why I didn't talk to Mazura after taking out Raphael in the House of Hope. I'll show you why. Come for a chat? She didn't have anything to say. A shame. <laughs>